Hey, what's up? Today we're going to make a CMS FAQ accordion, just like this. Pretty simple, uh, but we'll get it all set up and hopefully we'll be done in about five or six minutes. Now I've got a CMS of FAQ. It's got three items and the only thing it has in there is a custom field of an answer. So three questions and we'll get those connected here for our FAQ. Double click, going to connect this to FAQs. Open this up and we want an item. Well, let's see. Rather than a text block, I'm going to have two wrappers. First, we'll have the question wrapper, and we'll have an answer wrapper. Let's go ahead and put our text inside of those. Get text from FAQs, and we want the name, which is the question. Let's give this something like 2RAM, make it nice and bold. And that's good. Answer, get some text, toss it in there. We want the answer. Looks good. Now I want to add some padding all the way around here. Let's do one rem, holding shift. And that's looking just how we want it. I want to add a little bit of color here. Let's make these white. Give them some rounded corners. Uh, let's do something like, oops, frem. No, we want rem, not frem. Uh, and then I'm just going to add, well, let's make these vertical flex box with a one rem gap just so they stand apart. Why did that not? Oh, I need to do this to the list. This one here, flex, vertical. One rem, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And the answer wrapper, we want this to space a little bit away from the question. And I think that's, oh, let's get a, um, we're gonna want a little icon over here. So I'm gonna use just an embed for that. Could use an image or whatever. I've got some icon text on my other screen. Got this fill of current color. Whoa, we don't want that big. That's okay, let's do two rem by two rem, I think would be good. Yeah. And then question wrapper, we'll have to flex that. Center and space, oops. Okay, and now we're ready for our interaction. And the interaction, all we're gonna do is set the size of the answer from zero to auto. We're gonna rotate this little guy. And I think that's all we're going to do. Now let's make it on the collection item so that it happens to everything. Let's get into interactions here. Mouse click, start an animation. We'll call this uh, FAQ open. And we're going to set all of our initial conditions here. So initial condition one is that this is zero. And actually I'm noticing that I put the rem on here or the top margin. I want to put top margin on this text block inside. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to go away when we set our size to zero. Okay, let's get back into the interaction. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay, so initially we want answer wrapper to be zero height. Size, height, zero. Oh, I noticed you can't see that down here. Sorry, I don't have my screen set up properly. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Sorry about that. Okay, screen is fixed, let's keep going. And this is gonna be initial state. You notice that we can still see all the text, so let's go ahead and we'll make overflow hidden for that. And we can go back to our interaction. And now we see that it's looking good. Okay. Uh, so that is size zero. What else do we wanna set initially? We wanna set this rotation right where it is. Set the Z rotation to zero degrees. And we will also set this as, uh, we could set it as hidden. And then first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna unhide that. I think it was just block and this is a duration of zero. And now we're gonna animate that size and we want the size to go to a height of auto. And we're gonna animate this little icon here going to rotate that 180 degrees. 
And let's select both of these and make them something like point, mm, let's do point three with an out expo. And that looks great. Something else we should do is we should make this affect the class and not just the item. And that way it'll happen on every collection item that we have. And da, 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 da. now we just need to make our close interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate FAQ open, select it, call this FAQ close. Let's do da, da, da. I'm going to delete all of these. First thing we want is this one's going to pop out because this is going to happen last. We're going to hide it. So that's good. Duration of zero seconds. These two, I like to make them, they're not going to be the initial state. I like to make them a little faster. So maybe something like 0.2. We'll make them out expo. And size rotates back to zero and size is zero. So let's save and see what we get. All right. And we have a functioning CMS connected accordion. Now something, two things we want to do are we want to make this the interaction trigger. And we want to signify to the user that it is, so we'll turn that to a pointer. And then we could also add a nice little box shadow here, just, why not? Make that 30, distance something like three. I like to make this one 80. We'll do blur of eight. How's that look? Eh, it looks a little aggressive. Let's bring the opacity down to something like 15. There you go.